is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I am bringing you the 10 hidden features for the Moto Z2 Force. So these are features that are pretty hard to find. Now the Moto Z2 is pretty stock Android, so it's gonna be very normal, but there are still little things that you might have not known about. So if you know all of these 10 hidden features, then you get a thumbs up. But if you didn't know all of them, then I get a thumbs up. All right, let's begin and see who wins. All right, so for the first hidden feature of the Moto Z2, we're going to be going over the editor and not just the photo editor, cause that's one you can get with all of them, but you can actually do the depth editor for the photos you take with the depth focus. Now with this, you can do selective focus to blur out more of the photo after the fact. So you can see more things are blurred out now or you can unblur everything. So that's really nice because you can do it after the fact. The other thing you can do is you can change it to black and white. So you can tap where you want it to be color and then the rest is black and white. I really love that feature the most. And you can even get rid of the background. Now this one needs some fine tuning, which I wish they would allow you to kind of uh, tell how much fine tuning you can. But the nice part about it is then you could take this and put it on another feature and it's just really great for that purpose. So really cool, uh, fun feature and that's the depth editor that isn't always easy to find unless you know what to look for. Another great feature on this phone that you should know about that stock Android has, but not every phone has, and that is the battery saver mode. So if you go under settings, under battery, you can actually turn batter saver mode on and you can also have it set to a certain percentage. So I would always have it at 15%. And the reason why that's really great is because if you set it to automatically change to it at 15% instead of just having it ought never and just you have to manually do it, it will definitely help you out for those times you need battery life and suddenly get to 15% that you can definitely keep it. I wish they would even have one at 25 because I feel that's when I would start panicking like, oh my God, I need to get to a charger and it would help me out until then. So this next hidden feature is one I actually found and I think it's really should be a lot easier to rec recognize this. And that is that you can actually update your Moto Mod. So this one I have allows this phone to wirelessly charge, but there's lots of Moto Mods from the JBL, to the 360 camera, to a lot of different ones. But did you know you can actually update them? Well, you have to do it manually. So I had no idea about this, but if you go into settings and then Moto Mods, you can actually tap about this Moto Mod and update this specific mod. Nothing else, not the actual Moto app or anything like that, but actually update the this specific mod, which is in this case, the Moto style shell. But any of the mods you can actually update and it's really good because this one was actually outdated until I did that. So that's a really great thing to always know about if uh, JBL or if the camera or Incipio or any of these mods push out an update, you're always able to update it and get the latest software so you make sure it's the best quality and runs the best and smoothest on your phone. Now this next feature is a preference for your screen. And that is being able to change the color mode that your screen has, which can actually save you battery life, but it comes at a cost. So if we go into settings and then under display, we can change the color mode from vibrant to standard. Now standard is uh, basically a toned down or at least toned down to us since we always see vibrant screens, but this is actually a standard realistic color depiction. However, most people love the look of Vibrant. Now, Vibrant does use more of the backlighting on the screen, so it will drain your battery a bit more. So you just have to know that. By default, it comes on Vibrant, but if you want, you can actually switch to the standard and have about a half an hour longer battery life on your phone because you have it on standard mode versus Vibrant mode. Now this hidden feature is on standard Android, but it's on, not on a lot of other Android. So if you're coming from a Samsung, LG, or some other phones, you might not realize that you can actually have guest mode or add in different users that have completely different accounts on your same phone. 
Now, some of them have like a guest feature mode or a separate folder mode or something along those lines, but this stock Android style phone allows you to really completely add not just a guest, but really an entirely different user with entirely different set of apps. And anytime that that user uses this phone, it locks so that you can switch between users. This is really great. Now, if you just want like a restrictive mode, you can actually just have a guest mode that uh, is very restrictive. But I love the fact of being able to have like multiple users for a phone. You could even have all of your personal site on one and your work site on another, just so everything is separated. Now, this next one is hidden just because of the fact that most people just don't go to it. And it's a great slew of different features. And really this can make up more than half of the hidden features altogether, but I'm putting them all as one. And that is the Moto Action section of your phone. What this allows you to do is a bunch of different uh, types of features that you can do. Some work, some don't work that well. Like I have found this one doesn't work as well, but depending on your usage, uh, you can actually really change how everything in your phone operates from night mode, which I really like, from moto actions, which I really like the one navigation bar. So instead of this, I always touch this button. So I like the ability to actually use it for all the navigation from here to here to here. Like I like this uh, navigation style. So check out Moto Actions. You can always try them out, which I like too. You can always show me how, so you can actually see how it operates and see if it's right for you. Now this next one is on most Android devices, but not everyone always knows what it's for, how to operate, and sometimes even how to get to it. So we're going to go to settings and then go to Wi-Fi. In Wi-Fi, you can actually go to advanced and then use Wi-Fi Direct. Now Wi-Fi Direct will allow you to send big files using Wi-Fi technology even if you aren't in a Wi-Fi location. So for instance, two people can be in the car with two Moto Z2s or a Moto and a Galaxy or a Moto and an LG or anything such as that and actually transfer files using Wi-Fi Direct. So once you are connected to another Wi-Fi Direct device, you can hit share on say a photo or a video and it will transfer at a much quicker rate than something like Bluetooth or email or text message or anything along those lines. This transfers much quicker for bigger files. So for this next hidden feature, it's really great if you go to Wi-Fi areas a lot, something like Starbucks or some, like, or some kind of place where the public Wi-Fi is there, but it's not exactly the fastest. That is going under settings and going under data usage and then going to network restrictions. This will allow you to actually tap and select different Wi-Fi locations you've been at and lets them know do not start downloading any kind of big files such as apps on the Play Store to do updates uh, via this Wi-Fi connection. The reason why that's so important is because that way, as soon as you get into a Starbucks or pass by a Starbucks, like say on your bike or on your car, it won't automatically start just trying to download uh, data. And then as soon as you lose it, it's just kind of stuck and it's running in the background and it's killing your battery life. So this really helps out in the long run to make sure that when you go to those slower Wi-Fi locations or pass by them, you're not suddenly downloading apps that you don't need to at this time. It waits for your regular Wi-Fi connections that are much faster. All right, so this next hidden feature comes from the camera and it's a really great and simple way to get much better quality photos. So we'll take an item right here and tap it and with that, you can actually change the EV, which just allows you to play with the lighting to get a better effect of a photo. So that, say if I would tap it naturally, ah, that looks a bit too bright. So I wanna turn it down. You can do that. But what's more important about this is if you hold it down, you can actually lock it. What the locking does is no matter which way you move uh, thereafter, it's going to make sure that you have the ability to have that be your permanent EV and focus. So that if you move it around or anything along those lines, it will stay at that focus. And if you zoom in, it's not gonna become clear 
because it's still set at that focus. So really good that if you have something in particular, you want to make sure that that is the focus or EV that you want it to stay at, that you set it that way so that it's always clear at that distance. And then finally, our last hidden feature always deals with the camera. And this one is how to get the best video quality on this phone. And that is by simply swiping over to the side and swiping down and going to video size. And instead of 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is your normal video quality, you wanna to go to 1080p at 60 FPS. The reason why is because this is going to be a much better looking frame rate and the videos looks like such a wow factor that when you share them online on YouTube or uh, on Facebook or any of your social media, it actually keeps that frame rate and makes it look amazing. Every time I show a friend or family member the video that I shot of my wife and niece on 1080p at 60 frames, they think it's professional looking. So it just really stands out and it's such a wow factor that it will impress anyone that doesn't have that feature. All right guys, those were the 10 hidden features for the Moto Z2 Force. Hopefully you did like this video. If you did, make sure to give a like thumbs up before you head out. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.